hello everybody welcome to our new video uh today we're gonna do something very interesting and uh you're gonna enjoy if you're using car linux uh i believe you're gonna be so happy to see this so the reason why i'm creating this video is uh, like uh, i want to be to have two accounts in on my car linux uh, system so that we i can manage to do some stuff as another user but i have the root uh, privileges so we're gonna create a, a, a user with all root privileges so what is that gonna help us they recommend if you're using car linux not to use the main account you have to create another account where you're gonna do your stuff so for instance on this car linux uh, main account you can't install google chrome and use it and uh, other browsers but if you can create that account a new account you can manage to use google chrome and uh, uh do everything so but on this main account they don't allow you maybe for the sense of security i don't know i tried a lot of lot times and uh, all the people say do this what settings you do them but the settings do not work because by default they made car linux not to use google chrome you can only use it when you open a new what a new uh account so there are many um uh what there are many reasons why you should uh use your create a new user with that kind of privileges so you i'm gonna go to my terminal click on terminal and uh you come here you if you not sudo be sudo now so we're gonna add a user now you're gonna say user add with a u s a u s e r a d d space minus small m then you put the username for the for instance i want to use the username called m u s a then i'll say enter once i enter it's okay no errors no what simply means we've created already a user name so which is gonna be also a user so what we're gonna do now here we're gonna proceed and uh, do what uh, don't forget the minus m because it helps you to create a home directory for the new user understand this what it that's what it means here minus m so now we're gonna go to the next step uh, whereby we're gonna create the password for the new user you just say pass wd space uh then you put the new user the new user name which is going to be musa for my in my case you say enter it will ask you for the password i'm going to use a simple password which is going to be one two three four five and then i say enter and also to ask you again to retap the password you're going to say the same thing one two three four five then you say enter after that you say password updated successfully okay we write there everything is going well now we're gonna do go to another step whereby you're gonna say add the user to the group to allow him to install what the software and other stuff so what are you gonna do what how do we add a user to a group so what are we gonna do we're gonna say u s e r m o d which is gonna be user mode minus a that's gonna be small a then space minus capital g uh that's a big g then you say s u d o s u d o sudo then you put the username m u s a after putting in the m u s a uh then you're gonna do hit your enter hit enter if you don't see any problems just know that is done the user has been added to the group so you go to the next step which gonna specify the shell for the user so what you're gonna do you're gonna say c h s h space minus small s space uh forward slash space no no space forward slash b i n which is bin uh forward slash b a s h uh that's after that space put m u s a m u s a is the name i'm trying to use here the username i'm gonna use here then after that 
we're gonna say enter yes after doing that guys that simply means we managed to create a user with a new what with uh, uh, with the privileges we wanted to to do what to give to to that user so this is the user whereby you're gonna do uh, log out and log into that user but when you log in it's not going to give you this uh, I'm sure if I stop my if I log out now it's gonna stop my video so when my video is stopped that simply means you won't be able to see the uh, the what the the remaining part of the video so because if I'm logging to another user the video is gonna be stopped so if I go there and I log out my video is gonna be stopped so I'm gonna stop here I guess that helps guys and uh, if it doesn't work I don't think you would have done the right thing so I think I am gonna put something on the screen for you so that you see uh, we're gonna repeat the process so that you see everything what it means so you can pause the video and uh, also let me open Microsoft uh, what they call Libra office then I get you the codes what I typed step by step uh, then you can see them on the screen you copy them you run them the way I did run them and uh, maybe by doing so uh, you're gonna be successful in what you're doing so you must have another user because you not be won't be able to enjoy some of the privileges on Kali Linux because it's gonna limit you to do some things so I'm finishing here with uh, uh, doing some stuff uh, I'm gonna delete some things here okay guys we've done with the terminal so I'm gonna show you uh, what you do step one you do what create a user uh, this is what you do so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that you can see that's the code how it looks like it say this is your username in your in your case we can say username name or you can say test user okay step two you remember we did sudo then okay step two we did create a password for the user uh, whereby you need that person to have a password uh, you can't create a user without a password you do that and uh, in the step two once you do that then you copy this and uh, do that and uh, you say this is the test user okay that's good then step three you know it's gonna ask you to answer the password you type in the password and also type in the password again okay which is gonna be okay um, it's gonna ask you to type the password two times then step three whereby you're gonna give the user to the group uh, you're gonna do this and uh, put that in there and uh, you use your test user here uh, you do that okay after that we know that that step three is done then we're gonna go to let me come here uh, then we're gonna go to step four uh, step four is this when you're gonna specify the uh, what the, the 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 shell so you come here you get this here you click here you put this here down here and you say test user you copy that you paste it in there okay that's what you do step one two three four we only have sp what four steps i can highlight them for you and uh, I would like to do something like uh, uh, bullets I can put it for you in a bullet form or number form you can see that is step one step two 
step one create the user if the user stays step two give the user the password you create the password for the user step three you put the user into a group um, a group that allows him to install softwares and all that thing then step four then you specify the bash uh the shell for the user in this case we're using bash we're gonna use bash bash on this uh thing uh user uh guys don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys see you in the next video i hope this helps and if you have something to say please comment in the comment box below